like obviously too big for this chair and I'm still trying to fit. Hey guys, um, okay, so let's just get right to it because if I, I feel like if I don't do an introduction then this whole thing's just gonna be weird and you're gonna be like, so, where'd you come from? Okay, so my name's Alyssa, obviously I would hope that you know that by now because my name should show up right next to the subscribe button and if it doesn't then I clearly don't know how YouTube works. Anyways, my name's Alyssa and this is gonna be my vlog channel. Yeah, because I want you to show, I wanna share how boring my life is. You know, cause that could be cool. Um, yeah, I think vlogs are cool because they're really like personal but not, well yeah, they're just really personal. And I like to get up close. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I do. I really do. If you like that. Um, yeah, um, I think that for me watching vlogs is really therapeutic, so I would hope I'm hoping to get the same thing out of it by making them. Um and I also really enjoy watching vlogs, especially when it's someone that I feel like I can relate to or they share like similar traits. There's only a handful of girls on YouTube that I feel like I can relate to or that look like me and I think that's really important especially growing up I'm like gonna be 20 so pretty much like done growing up but um I think it's very important to have someone that you feel like you can look like or look up to and I feel like I don't really have what am I I'm rambling so we're at the gym well we just finished and okay this is progress day like for, we've been coming for like later. a month and a half. A month later, we only gain weight instead of losing. So, documenting this to show y'all that we've been we've been working. We've been working. Future me. Okay, we have, we've been working, guys. Have like because this Miami body's no joke. Um, we didn't we didn't pay all this money just to be looking fat. Do I have any keys? Okay. So, basic basic yeah because why not all that all you got to show off all that progress that you've got that's that one pound i gained it's one pound of muscle we're trying to be positive look aren't we cute one pound look like somebody's bag. mama carrying my bag like this i obviously still don't know how to work this camera because the way i hold it so yeah, we tried it. We did a lot of leg stuff today, and that was cool. This is how we're gonna take selfies. Do like this. That this is. Check this out. Have to edit that out. <laughs> we don't talk bad about people on my vlog. So busy. Just kidding. Um. Yeah. So we did a lot of leg stuff. Let me get my bag off. We were trying to like copy Karuchi's workouts because I like her butt. She has like she doesn't have like a big butt, but it's toned. So. That's gold right there. I know her butt is little, but it's toned. I haven't looked at her butt, but I will definitely make it a point now. <laughs> Show them how to do a, a perfect squat form. Okay. Social. These. Hi, guys. So I'm Alyssa's trainer. Um, she hasn't shown any progress. The only gain weight, but. Um, Oh, I had this kind of video of the girl. She's like wanting to twerk, but she can't twerk. It's like, I don't know how to do a squat. Never mind, guys. I don't want to lead you down the wrong path. <laughs> we break, they break from their neck. They want to sue us. So. Okay, I'm hungry. So, bye. Are we going to get in? Pro You guys, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I cannot wait till the bathroom. Till the bathroom comes, till the food comes. Look at the bathroom. This is so like I love stuff like this. Love it. Can't wait till the food gets here. OTD Beach. Give me a little big. <laughs> so good. What'd you get? Same thing. Yeah. 
What is this? So Rocio and I are taking Steven to the river and it's like 50 million degrees literally and we're gonna take no. No, we're just checking something out. Um, do you think it's too big? Yeah, I think it is. It's all right. It's I think if it's just gonna be us, then I don't think we need all that. Yeah, I'm gonna close the door now. What do you want? We gotta find a shady spot though. Yeah, it's way too big. I don't think we Steven, need it. Steven, go bring um your life jacket. Should we go to the 99 cent store and get like floatables? And we can get our snacks there. Yeah, well, we, let's go when we get closer because there's probably heck of traffic right now. Yeah. Go get yeah. your flo uh, your your life jacket. Yeah. Ladder, right. Yeah, don't go. We're not gonna go that deep. So All right, go get it. we're siding. Number two is gonna come out. Where are we going? Where are we going? Hey guys. So today we're going to the river. It's hot. It's how many degrees is it? It's and like it one oh fifty. <laughs> and it has Mimo. It is one hundred and four degrees right now. So finding Nemo three, finding Nemo two will come this out. This vegan place because we're That's vegan. Just kidding, we're at Carlos Jr. Oh, come on, please. Shut up, don't, don't listen to these little girls. We're actually at the river parking lot. And we're on the quest for finding Mimo! <laughs> Where's the water? <laughs> Where's the water? Come up the dimple right there. Yeah. Surcharge for if you pay cash. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was a rock music. Having my baby. Baby. <laughs> okay. We're gonna hopefully try not to drown or eat anything, right, Steven? I don't know how to swim. Yeah, we're gonna of teach you how to dunk. You know you you I know you do. Hey, this is a song, right? Let me start twerking. Ew! Oh my, oh my god, I love this song. So I'm getting ready to go dog sitting, so I'm packing my stuff. Um, I'm only gonna I'm gonna be there for a week, but I'm only gonna pack like three days worth of stuff, and then I'm gonna come back home because I just don't feel like overpacking, and I need to get there, spend some time with Reggie before I go to work. So check in with you later. Hey guys, um, so I'm on my way. I'm on my way to. I'm on my way to go um, to Reggie's house, aka the dog I dog sit for. So I got a later start than I thought I would, but oh well. It's not as hot as it's been. Um, where I live, it's been like a hundred for like the past week, and it's like 93 today, so it's not that bad. I'm so excited because the heat's cool, but like. If there's no wind, that ain't cool. Um, so yeah. But I don't have like air, I have air conditioning in my car, duh. <laughs> I live in California. But um, I don't really like putting, I don't like turning it on for some reason. I don't know, I feel like it wastes gas. Is that a thing? <laughs> Y'all know more than me probably. But I don't know, I don't have it on right now. It's not too bad. If you go fast enough, there's like air. You have your vents open, so why do I need to? in more air I don't know that makes like no sense but oh well <laughs> so yeah I have work um, I don't work that much today I, only, I work 3 to 8 tonight so that shouldn't be that bad I just wanted to get there before like because I know that Reggie's parents were gonna leave earlier in the day so I wanted to have like enough time to walk him usually takes his walks at 6 
and I'm not gonna be able to take him on his walk and things. So I want to kind of hang out with him and stuff beforehand. So it should be fun. Um, I have like all my stuff with me and like stuff in the back, in the very very back. But um, like I said, I only packed like a day and a half's worth of stuff. So I'm definitely gonna have to go home for sure. Oh, well, I don't know. I, I might be able to um, get by with some stuff because I don't have summer classes anymore. I'm done. So, um, yeah, it's nice. This, like, drive, it's actually not that far from my house. It's actually kind of by my uncle's house. But, um, like, it's more, like, off the freeway than on the freeway driving. Like, I still have a few but it's really close to the river, so it's nice. So I can take Reggie on rocks with me to the river. So that'll be nice. I just said that twice. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. See you guys when I get there because I have nothing else to say. Okay. I'm actually stressing. So he was like, Oh, you don't need a key to get in. We have a keypad or whatever. So I'm trying to use this keypad, but technology would fail me at the time I need it the most because the key code is not working. So I. Just sitting here, can't even get in. I don't know what to do. Um, he's not answering the phone, so I'm like literally entering this. Okay, let's see. Literally entering it like 50 million times, and it's not working. And I need to get the dog. I have work at three. It's like 1:39. I don't know. <gasps> Just kidding, y'all. I'm in the house, <laughs> dude. They left the front. Okay, they left the front door open. And didn't tell me. I did. You should have seen. I was like pleading on the door. I was like, please. I just wish. Cause like I was like, oh my god, the dog work. Like, what am I gonna do? And this is Reggie, by the way. Thanks for going on a walk. It's no, not after all that stress. Um, yeah. So, what was I gonna say? So yeah, like, um, I was just like, just open, please. It opened after. But like, the thing is, they didn't like tell me that the door was gonna be open. I just like was pleading for dear life and it opened. So I'm gonna take him on a quick walk before work because I don't really wanna feel like I neglected him. I have to buy the neighbors something because they were an elderly couple and I made them come outside and try to figure out these problems. I could just figure it out if I would've had my mental breakdown a little sooner. So I should get them some fruit, but I don't wanna bother them anymore today. They look like they were maxing and relaxing. So, yeah, um, just a quick walk before work because I don't want to be late. Yet. Never get a dog this big because it will drag you. <laughs> like, have those keys strapped to my waist because I really just feel like it's a nice day, but <laughs> not gonna get stuck outside. Oh, fuck it, you need to bags. Please don't put don't put Reggie. Oh, okay. So I just ate my J in the box. So I'm gonna have some grapes that I packed. Well, not for Reggie. Some just regular grapes. Um, yeah. I love green grapes. That's my thing. Um, so I wasn't able to walk Reggie, but I'll probably get up early tomorrow and walk him and before, like, it's super hot or anything, and now I'm just gonna chill, you know? I'm just, like, so, I don't know, like, my ankle hurts, so, um, the number 10 from Jack in the Box never had it, but it's actually really good, or maybe I was just hungry. So all that complaining, I guess, was for nothing, right? Um, I missed, like, half of the new episode of the Kardashians, but it wasn't really that serious anyways to watch, but I was told this episode was one I needed to watch. But I don't really keep up with the Kardashians, so. I'm about, like, 30 minutes left. I don't know. And go to someone's house and you don't know how to work the remote. <laughs> Can it come with an instruction manual? Where's Reggie? Hey, boo. 
Um, what time is it? It's the 9 12. <laughs> These are my grapes. I don't know if you guys hear them. Green grapes are bomb. Like, green grape team or not. <sighs> this is my stuffed animal. Okay. Well, I'm going to chill for a little bit and then I'll probably talk to you guys soon when I'm. When I'm. Please don't eat those. I'll give you one. No. Can dogs have grapes? No, no. Um. I'll talk to you when I'm, I don't know, doing something fun. Okay, so I just, like, just hit the pause button, or end button on the vlog, the vlog, on the, on Raven's, Raven's Week, that's what she calls it, but I'm sure y'all probably don't know. Um, these are the grapes that I don't want, because I don't like mushy grapes, TBH. Um, I changed into my PJs, but now I'm just going to wash my face. For all you curly-headed girls, all you naturals out there, I know you guys know what this is. The pineapple. So, I don't know if I should pause it because I don't want to, I think I'm going to pause it, the TV. They don't want to miss. Okay. Um, I'm going to wash my face, so just like take my makeup off. Um, but yeah. Reggie's probably gonna follow me, thinking I'm doing something for him. Nah, brother. Um, this is my PB fit, my PB fit, my PJ fit. Yum. And my um, <coughs> my Prince Roy shirt, cause <coughs> that's a babe. Um, okay. I thought I brought a wash. This is like my um. Show you guys. Stuff like legit, right? All of this. Well, mine is I have like random shit. And that's for like I always have like an extra like a shirt when I'm in a deep condition. I can totally like make a whole video about like my whole deep cut like hair care if that's like a thing. I don't know if you guys care, um, but I'm gonna wash my face. So that should be chill as fuck. Um, all right. So I'm gonna wash my face. I see me. You guys care what I'm doing? I feel like you guys should probably be looking at me. Ooh, that was scary. Okay, who cares? It's okay, you guys. You guys are just going to be chilling. Hold on, I just might be the phone so far away. It's actually really like, I thought because it's like a foamy like face wash. Oops. I thought it was not going to like last, but it's lasting me quite a while. Um, yeah, I don't want, it's like an oil free, cause I was like, like going through that, you know how I'd set up like combination skin, so like, I was going through like, looking up stuff on the internet, on like good stuff for oily skin, and this was like, well, one of the good things, for this brand is supposed to be really good, so I was like, why not, but honestly, I think it's only like, Tone down the oil in the oil in the oil and oil in the oil in the oil in the why am I saying oil oil in the how do you say oil and oily oiliness a little bit so who knows I just like have booger in my nose and I'm washing my face. So this is me, y'all. <sighs> this is me. And my skin's not that bad, but I don't think I brought. See, I was more worried about my hair stuff than I was in my face. Lotion. I have like fragrancy lotion, but I have eczema, so I really don't like to put on a breath instead. 
I really don't like to put stuff that has like fragrance or anything like that on my face. I usually use like Bath and Body Works type stuff for like my body and stuff like that, not like my face. Because my face is sensing you, so I'll be having to watch. I'm gonna steal some revolution, okay? Don't yell at me. Don't tell. Don't tell me, guys. This smells good. Okay. I'm gonna probably. I always like to wipe my feet off with um, baby wipes, but I'll do that when I'm like actually gonna go to bed. Cause right now I'm barefoot, as you can do. But. Well, this is the nighttime me. It probably doesn't look much different because clearly I don't know how to do anything to my face. I barely am starting to know how to actually contour my face, but then like, I was in a brush and you know how today went. So, didn't really have time for all that before I went to work. So, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go watch my show. Well, first, I, I love the news, y'all. So, I'm gonna watch the news first. Well, at least just a few minutes and then I'm gonna watch my show and I'll be back. Well, I don't think I... Y'all want to see really what I do like every five minutes, but I don't know. But yeah, like I said about the hair stuff, if you guys want to know about my hair junk, let me know. Or I'll probably just do it anyways. Because honestly, like when I was like becoming like a natural, like leaving my hair, like because the majority of the time my hair is like curly. I know you guys like seen it straight for like, but I had just gotten my hair done. I was like the last leg of me having my hair straight before I washed it but um most of the time my hair is like this like curly and I remember when I was become like a natural like I there was never I felt like there wasn't enough variety especially for my hair type I think it's 3c but I could be wrong um so I feel that like if I were to post it I think it would be a great of great help and assistance to a lot of people who probably aren't like sure exactly where to go especially if you have my hair type um so yeah but times are changing so there could be a lot more videos than there was when i was becoming natural but as you know if i had to choose like some people are like really good at makeup and hair i'm not good at believe me i'm not doing good at doing my hair but i'm good i think i did a really good job at training my hair to be at the place where it's at now. I don't have any pictures to, or else I would put them probably right here to show you. If I find some, I'll put, I'll like bring them in right there. But um, I don't think I really have any pictures of my hair. Like I was really like self-conscious about my hair, especially because I went to a Catholic school and like everyone pretty much looked the same, you know, out of like, Class of 30, um, for elementary, I was, like, the only, well, there was, no, I take that back, like, there was, like, three of us, um, there was three black people, um, and it was really hard for me because, like, I never really felt like I fit in, I was always felt, like, different, I remember there was, like, I'm trying to talk, like, this group, not this group, but like this little clique and they called themselves Destiny's Child. I was like, I wanted to be them so, so bad. But then I'm thinking about it now, like, girl, Justin Child's black. But back then, like, I was just like, I wanted to be, I wanted to be, I wanted to be in that group. And I felt so different. And that my hair was really, I think, besides my skin color, but my hair was really what set me apart from everyone else because it was not tamed, you know? Picture day came around, I'm mixed, so my mom, like, love her to death. But, like, my hair was never, like, my dad wasn't there to, like, show my mom or be in my life to, you know, like, show me how to do my hair or take the time, anything like that. So, like, my mom did the best that she could with what she had and what she knew, and I totally, like, appreciate it. But, like, I was looking a little tore up some days, but, you know, that was, like, a defining moment for me, and I think it's really important that I kind of went through that because it sifted me to, like come out with the identity that I have now. And I'm really, really like love, like natural, like I wish I would. I got a perm because I thought, well, my mom thought it would be easier. And then I also thought that, well, shit, if my hair could be straight most of the, most of the time, why not? Like, then I could be like everyone else. I was at that time, you know, that sensitive time in life where I felt like if I look like everyone else, all my problems would be solved. 
I remember in preschool, um, my mom still has it actually on my um, Christmas list. It says to be blonde and to be white. It was really, really hard for me, you know, to be, I don't know, I just felt really like, what's the word? Disenfranchised from a lot of things. So, I don't feel like that now. And I think I've learned a lot of that. And a big part of that for me was accepting my hair and just defining who I am as a person. So, I think that if you're in that stage, I, and I think a lot of people are like, well, you're mixed, so your hair is not like an, just a regular black girl. Yeah, that's true, but at the same time, if you show your hair the love and the care that it needs and the moisture, girl, the key is moisture, you're going to be good. Like, really, all you need to do is show your hair some love, care, and attention. And I know it's hard, and we all, girl, let me tell you, we all go through that ugly stage. I had that ugly stage ugly stage mixed or not we all have it so i think that it's really important and girl when i see people i feel like they're i feel like people's hair talks to me i don't know if it's just me if i've got something but i feel it like honestly like girl could be walking by and her hair is like screaming at me like help me like i'm tired like it's just fried girl i've been through it trying to keep my hair straight all the time Really, you're not doing your hair any type of justice. You're doing it injustice. You really just need to let your hair breathe. It is so... It's just so nice. Yeah, it's so much harder. Yeah, my hair is still nappy. Just because I'm mixed does not mean I'm nappy. I hate when people say, that's not nappy. No. It might, might, might not be the worst case scenario, but to me, it's nappy. I think that it's super important. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Me ranting when my show is probably on. But I paused it. Good thing I paused it. But, um, see how, um, how, um, I can't think of anything, can I? Um, how attached I am to hair. I don't know, but, oh, me scratching my butt. Can you all see that? <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. But, yeah, like, I honestly, were you trying to steal the camera time? Were you trying to steal the camera time? Were you trying to steal the camera time? Okay, I'm trying to play, but. I mean, I think it's really important for girls to know that. You're beautiful no matter what. I mean, yeah, if you want to walk, I'm not trying to make it sound like a girl. If you want to walk around with hair fried, not like that, but like, if that's what makes you beautiful, okay, but don't be doing that, keeping up that look just because you think, well, I, my hair has to be straight. My hair has to look a certain way. You don't, your hair does not have to be like that, girl. Just quit, just quit it with, the, let your hair breathe, put some moisture on. Girl, let me just. Let this just be the video where I just pull it. Oh, my camera's about to die. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'll probably just charge it. Okay, really quick, though. Let me just show you. I'll go, like, in-depth about, like, hair stuff later. Oh, my God. I can't open this. Can I put you guys down? Because... Shout out to my grandma who gave me this little thing. <clears throat> Almond oil. It doesn't necessarily have to be any brand, but this... Just almond oil in general. This is focus. Can focus. Focus. Okay, whatever. The point is almond oil. Almond oil makes your hair so, 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 so soft. Y'all already know. Coconut oil, unrefined. That's what you need. Castor oil. Consistency of it is hard to work with, but if you mix it with something, it's really, like, it does wonders. I'm growing back, like, your little bald spots. Or just anything so but make sure you kind of I don't really like to use it by itself because it's just a weird consistency Shea moisture not really any brand in particular, but you know that that curl enhancing smoothie is bombed um, And something new that I've had that is now my holy grail something Do I have enough time to say this like I don't know my cameras never really died on me before but um There are certain parts in like I feel like the transitioning period where you I'm a product junkie. That definitely, that's me. I like get pr new products all the time. My arms hurting, but like, there's products that I've tried in the beginning that I did not like. I did not like how they worked on my hair, but then giving them a second chance, I think sometimes it's worth it. This I never liked this olive oil line or whatever. When I was starting out my hair, I left my hair sticky. I didn't like it, but this conditioner, let me tell you guys, I use it as like a detangler like when I'm in the shower because I only comb my hair and shower with a Denman brush if you guys don't know it I'll link it down below because you guys need it curly girls hello you need a Denman brush oh, it's right here with all my nasty hair in it sorry 
whatever um but yeah i think that that's really important a spray bottle is important um and a little pick when your hair is not really as volumized as you like it to be but okay i'm going to charge my camera let me know if you guys want to see in-depth stuff or get me to talk about hair and i know i'm rambling i don't know i was talking about how it felt all not a part of my class when i was in elementary sorry i don't know okay i gotta go bye okay i'm really gonna watch my show charge my camera bye Hey guys, um, where's Ricky? Coming with the dog band. Okay, I don't know. I'll find him. Oh, there he is by the door. Okay, um, quickly, 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 I wanted to go on this little deep talk thing. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, I know I kind of like talked about it on my intro, but I don't think I was like necessarily as specific as I probably should have been or kind of as I wanted. Um, my reasons for starting this channel are very personal. Um, yeah, I'm doing it for fun, obviously. Like it's, why not get people looking at you while you're, you know, have a camera in front of you in public. But uh, also because I find it really, really therapeutic, as I said. Um, it's therapeutic for me to watch them, and it's very therapeutic for other people as well. I know it's not just me, but I see it in the comments. It doesn't have to be, you know, this deep vlog or whatever. People in, com in the comments really, like, appreciate it. I see in the people and vloggers that I watch, I see that their comments are popping, and not popping because, popping because, like, they're popping, but their viewers really, really, really appreciate the honesty, the genuality, if that's a word. If not, we should make it one. Um, and I think that that's really important to have in such, especially in 2016, I think it's been pretty much, I mean, obviously it depends on how you look at it, but a lot of situations that have happened are really negative and sad situations. So I think it's important for us to stay connected in any shape, form, any, any way possible. So I think that me starting this vlog channel is not only a way for me to reflect on what I've done and how I've grown over time, um, but just for other people, maybe there's something that I'm going through or that I've gone through or something that I talk about, talk, have talked about that's going to connect with someone in a way maybe it might not connect to the next. But if I can just help that one person, if I can just relate to that one person, if that one person can walk away from my channel or walk away from my that vlog or whatever that video that they've watched and not feel alone or feel like they've gained something or learned something or seen something that's made them not feel so isolated from everyone else then i think i've done my job i think it's really important because i know what it's like i know what it's like to feel alone i know what it's like to feel like you don't have anyone to understand you or you don't you don't know how to go about expressing your issue because you don't it's just not, I don't know how to explain it. I come from a family, I love them to death, but I don't think I have that open relationship with them or I see other families and I try not to do that whole comparing thing, but we're not as open as I'd like us to be or I see things and I know it's probably just me and I'm just making it a million times harder, but um, it's very hard sometimes I think for me to, just go about things. I keep my personal life my personal life. Like, it's like almost like I have two faces. I'm not fake, but I have a mask on just for me, my everyday. And then I'm another mask for my family, another mask for my friends. Gotta have all these faces. I swear I'm not fake. But it's kind of like that role that you have to play in order to be be you right i mean you have that professional face that you only use when you're at work you're only using when you are in a professional setting that doesn't mean that you're fake it just means that you know the time and the place and how to act like you're not going to act the way you act in the club on a friday night the same way that you act in the office on a tuesday afternoon like you're not gonna you're not those just don't go and if they do then and if they work for you yeah um but really i think that this is going to be really helpful for me especially because i recently my boyfriend and i my ex-boyfriend and i recently just broke up we were together for about six years and if he's watching this 
five or six. I don't, I don't know. Um, we're still, yeah, we're still cool and stuff. We still talk every day. And he's still my best friend or one of my best friends. But um, it just didn't, it didn't work how it should have or how it, it just didn't work. Um, but I still love him. It's like my best, we shared a lot of time together. So of course I'm gonna still love him, but I'm not, it's not like an in love type thing. Um, but after that breakup, I realized I don't wanna be in like a sucky depressed little hole I want I want to be able to get out of it and if I can't get myself out of it I mean I could spend time with my friends all the time you know and constantly be around people but if I train myself to be happy only when I'm around people then I'm not gonna be happy because the second that I'm alone it's gonna be all bad how am I gonna deal with it you know so I think that it's important to not only know not only surround yourself with good people but surround yourself around the best version best version of you possible so being the best person you can be for yourself because literally all you have is yourself first and foremost if you can't get have your own back nobody else is going to be willing to have your back because that's just way too much responsibility to be taking care of not only yourself but then you got to take care of somebody else like no like no so i think it's really important for me to start this vlog channel because it's something that i've always wanted to do it's not that like my ex-boyfriend stopped me from like, no, you can't do that. Honestly, I never really put that much thought into it. But after the breakup, that's when I realized this would be a great, great time. And I, the reason why I bought, I was, the reason why, I don't know what I was saying. But, um, and I made sure that I would never give up. How I made sure I would never like, oh, well, I'll just blow it off or whatever, is I bought a camera. Like, I literally just went out and bought a camera one day. And I was like, now I really have to do this because I did not just spend all this money to like not, you know? I mean, I could return it, but you know, why not? So I was like, I have the camera, what else is stopping me? So I think that that also, I appreciate the breakup, that sounds bad, but I appreciate the breakup because it opened my eyes to doing something that I probably would have never actually done at the moment or later on. And I think now is it more than, a, there's no more perfect time for me to do this. So I'm really appreciative for everything that I'm going through because it's teaching me something new every day. I'm learning new things about myself. So, um, yeah. And I'm starting this channel because, also because when I watch vlogs, when I um, am in the comments, I'm a comment creeper, um, I, see, I see the need for a voice i see the need for girls to have a voice or have someone they can give their not give their voice to but like someone that has that platform for them my main main issue i think is yeah there's black girls on youtube here but it's here and there um i don't really see that many black girl vloggers i always crack up when i see amber martin's first vlog and it's um, her clickbait thingy majiggy says um, black girl vlogger question mark and that cracks me up because really I don't see that many um, I think it's really important to see girls that you can relate with who share similar interests um, religious backgrounds things like that Curl curly girls come on now like I think it's really important and I I'm so thankful that the YouTube community is growing and there's more diversity, but we need more. And I think that it's really important to see fresh new faces. And yeah, so that's why I'm here. So hopefully, I mean, I'm hoping this is to be like a diary, but also if it my channel does grow, then it's my diary growing. This is my everyday life. Um, I don't think I'm gonna vlog every day. I'll try to. But um, I don't I don't know where things are gonna go with my channel. So, but I'm open for anything. I'm open for it to just stay mellow yellow. But if it grows, then it grows, and I'll be more than thankful, and I will be more than appreciative because really I just want to use this to be open and honest. Um, not every vlog is gonna be like this, like a sit down talky talk vlog. I don't think. But um, here and there I'll probably post some just because. And I've also got to work on my rambling because I like to ramble when I talk. But, um, and I need to focus when I talk. But, um, really, I just hope that 
I don't know. If one person can, you know, gain something from my vlog, learn something from my vlog, or not feel so isolated just by watching me or something like that, I think that would be the greatest gift I can possibly receive. Um, I see in the comments from the vloggers that I've watched how much just their simple everyday things can mean to someone, how much they get out of it. I know for me, when I watch other girls' vlogs or I watch just YouTube videos in general, how much they can affect my day in a positive way, how much they take my mind off things when I'm having a bad moment. I don't like to say having a bad day because um, really I have the power within myself to turn it around. So it's only a bad moment. If it can turn into a bad day, if I allowed to stay that way, but why would I do that? So I think it's really important that YouTubers, vloggers, all that junk, everyone sees the power that they have within themselves to reach out to other people if you just start to talk. If we start to talk, if we start to be more positive and loving with one another, the world wouldn't be what it wouldn't be what it is today. And I think that's super, super important because I think if we stays just so focused in what we're doing and don't freaking bring our head up to see then the world's just going to continue down a downward spiral and i would never want to bring my kids into a world like this and i'm not saying it has to be peachy all the time of course i know there's going to be things that go wrong but 2016 has just not been the year for the united states i have to say and we just really need to work on just letting fucking go of the bullshit. Excuse my language, but honestly, I don't I don't even know. I don't even want to go into it. But right now at least. But really I think that we're worried about the wrong things and we're too worried about superficial things or what's on the outside to see that really there's not much of a difference in between us besides maybe there's like a language barrier or religious things in our religion that set us apart from other people but that doesn't mean that we need to go out killing people you know i don't know i don't want to talk into all that right now really i just wanted to talk about why i wanted to start my channel and what what i'm hoping comes out of it is just positivity and i hope that there's someone i can connect to out there a curly girl a mixed girl someone who just broke up with her boyfriend, someone, or girlfriend, someone that just wants to feel like they have someone. I know that when I'm on YouTube, it's really, 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 really important for me to watch girls that I have stuff in common with. Yeah, I watch like makeup videos and stuff, but I'm like, don't know what I'm doing, so. But it's always very therapeutic for me to watch, and I hope that you guys can get the same thing out of my channel once I start posting more, which I hope to do very, very soon. Um, and yeah, really, I don't know what I'm talking about, but really, 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 really just, I just really want this to be something that I can reflect on later on and see how I've grown because I only want to do this. I'm only doing this because I genuinely think that YouTube is such a great place, such a great, um, community that I want to be a part of, so... Hopefully y'all can walk with me. Okay, I'm gonna go to Best Buy now, so. Something was in there. Oh my gosh, okay, so. I don't know why this is sticking out, but, um, okay, sorry. Oh, I fixed it, okay. So I just went to Best Buy and I thought I was gonna be in there for like a good 50 minutes, but your girl was in there for a good five, like. He like helped me so fast. So shout out to um Ralph at Best Buy. You the best. Shout out, you can't even see the Best Buy sign, but shout out to him. I'm in the mood. I can't like, I know I love Reggie, but um, I don't know if I should get Cold Stone or Pinkberry. I'm thinking Pinkberry, so I think I'm gonna go there. Um, I don't really have too much else to do. I'm sorry I'm so boring, guys, but um, yeah. 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 So yeah, I think I'm gonna go to Pinkberry. I don't really have too much to do. I think Rocio's coming over later, so that should be fun. Um, so check in with you guys at Pinkberry. So I couldn't even wait. Um, <clears throat> I'm already digging in. Um, I love Reggie out. 
I gave him a treat because he was being so good. And uh, yeah, okay, let me show you guys what I got. So I got the milk cream one and then I got Fruity Pebbles. I just started getting Fruity Pebbles. I don't know how I like that. Strawberries, of course, mochi. If you guys have never had mochi, you're m definitely missing out. And I know you can't really see it because I like the way I was driving and just flew everywhere. But I got cookies and cream. Which is just Oreo pieces. I don't know why I don't say it. But whatever. Um, I think because it's like a trademark thing. I don't know. But my normal chewing is going to be loud right there. So sorry. But, um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I have way more footage than I thought I would. Or than, yeah. Way more footage than I anticipated for my first vlog. I know I'm probably gonna edit a lot of it out because I have tons, but. Oh well, I just wanted to have something to work with. Thank you guys so much. If you stuck around, <clears throat> if you stuck around this long through the whole video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up's not really for me, it's for you because you really, you was, you was real, you was real. Um, yeah, subscribe, all that, chunk, if you really care to see what I'm doing. But like, I hope, I really do hope this was actually entertaining because like, it'll really break my heart if it wasn't entertaining. Like, I don't know, but whatever. Okay, bye. I have a lot of footage I probably have to edit and junk and bye. Thanks, you guys. You guys don't know how much this means to me, so just, just thanks. Just, just thanks.